Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back. Oh, there's something new on OBS. There's a pause button. Ooh, next to the recording button, there's a pause button. So I can pause my recording while I'm recording and not have to edit my videos and do jump cuts. <gasps> I wonder if you can hotkey this. Like, watch, I'm going to pause it. I'm, I, I totally paused it. That is so freaking cool. I've been waiting for that. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a very exciting video for you all. I know I'm definitely behind the curve when it comes to Unity 3D menus, but I just don't mod as much as I used to. But I think I finally found a game that's grabbed my attention. And that game is Car X Drift Racing Online for PC on Steam. It's not a crazy expensive game. It's a ton of fun. Um, even though I actually, all that playtime so far is just testing mod menus. The game is still based on Unity 3D DLL files rather than IL to CPP for PC, which does exist, but they're not using it yet. And let's hope that they don't because this is a lot more fun. I have a new mod menu that I'm testing on this game, and eventually I want to release a full hack menu on this game. I've never seen somebody actually make a hack menu where it was multiple key inputs on a keyboard for PC to actually bring up the menu. And I got to thinking, and I found a tutorial online that somebody showed how to do that, but it was a really sketchy website, but I still like copy their code and it kind of worked. I just had to do a little bit of editing of their code and it worked. I don't remember who it was that made this, but this is a really cool mod menu. I could use this to hide things from you guys. I could use this to like hide secret mods or hey, if you type this in, it'll open a special URL and you get a discount on like a sticker or something um, or discount on future mods, something like that. Discount codes and things like that. I can use it to hide anything. Okay, not anything. I'm totally going to rickroll somebody with this. Y'all better just start trying keys. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys how I made this menu, and I'm going to show you guys the menu working. So as you can see, I have DN Spy open here, and you can see I've already got a money mod working here. But that's the menu's not yet pretty. It's a simple box with a title, some buttons, and a closing function. That's all the menu is in the actual on GUI. So what you need to do when it comes to making a menu mod in the DLL space of um, Unity 3D games is you need to find uh, something that's on screen at the time that you want the menu open. So in my case, I found the chat functions. So I added the on GUI function to the chat context and now the menu will show up in game. But I did have to add a little bit more code than I'm used to and to make this work. So as you can see, this is just the menu. But there is if this cheat, which is a bool for detecting if the menu is open or closed. Then it shows this stuff. If it is open, then cheat set to false and index set to zero. We'll explain that in a second. That closes the menu, as you can see by this. So then we had to add something new. We had to add a start function. So cheat access, to access the cheat, it has this string array that's my username. If you type in my username, it pulls up the main menu. And then in update, I have this one just for testing it, so like it's single key, but I know that my type in code works. So I can do this key down and do this index, and I can do multiple indexes as long as I put them in the start function. And that's how I could do multiple menus and things like that. So I could do, even like commands with this. So like cmd dot main for main menu, cmd dot add money and it just adds money. So like, let's do that real quick. I'll show you guys that. So you go edit method and as you can see, there's this, but if I do this dot money add equals, oh, hold on. I gotta make it a uh, string outside of here. Uh, string god damn it money add 
equals new string. I can do um, C M D dot add my god this is really long which sucks but And then close this. And this would be this dot index two equals zero. God damn it, zero. I forgot I gotta do the index as an integer. Int index. And compile. Can I not do a period in there? Oh. God, I freaking suck. Index two. There we go. So now that I have index two, I can go into update, edit, and I can go if input dot get key down this dot money add this dot index two then I can do the trans where in the hell did I put that? Isn't it in here? God damn it. I can do I should have copy and pasted it, but whatever. Um, I think I can add it outside of here. I'm not sure. Transaction manager. New. Stop it, you fucking asshole. equals new transaction manager. I think I can do that. We should be fine. Dot add money. We'll do 69 comma e currency type dot coins comma transaction manager dot money add reason dot multiplayer reward and then you go close I would do this dot index 2 plus plus and else this dot index equals 0 2 equals 0 There we go. There we go. So now it'll do money twice in two different ways. So let's show you this actually working in game. Now, like I said, it's not a pretty menu. Don't don't give me shit. I know it's not a pretty menu, but we're gonna get this working. At least I'm gonna hope that it works because I never promise anything once I start modifying it live. So as you can see, Tech X brings up the menu. And I have the million thing here. I'm going to close the menu. We're going to do cmd dot add money. It did not add money. That is what it is, right? cmd dot add money. OK. 
cancel. So cmd dot add money. Is it? Oh, I know why it's not working. This isn't up on screen. cmd dot add money. Yeah, if that's not up on screen, it doesn't work. So I'll show you this working at least. As you can see, money mod activated, I got $2 million. We're gonna go do a body kit on this car. And that car looks damn good. That barely looks any different. Oh my God. Do they know the hood's slightly open and that like the headlights aren't entirely loading? I feel like there's a lot missing here. Oh, it requires me to put them in. Oh, they're just not there. That's weird. Oh my god, I can just like destroy this car. Yeah, I know there's subscriptions on this. It pisses me off that they added this like weird currency. I am going to figure out how to do a level mod as well. I promise you that. Body kits, design, mods, dino stand, catalog. Give me my other car. It's a little bit lower now, which is cool. I can do more body kit stuff. I can take them out or leave them in. That's pretty boring. I can just take it off. I don't understand why that's a thing, but whatever. I want that one. Buy. As you can see, it let me buy it because I have all the money in the world now. Oh, did this not save? Oh, wow, you can do so much in this game. How much camber can you do? And is it visible? It is visible. But I feel like it'd be fun to do more than negative 20. So that'll be, there's going to be so many things I try to do with this mod menu that um, it's going to be a little bit ridiculous at the end of the day. It's going to be almost like a debug menu. I'm going to definitely make it so you can do further than 20 uh, and further than 1 because that'll be hilarious. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. I promise you that. So we'll figure this out. Max steering angle will go much further than 53. I promise you that. Oh my god, there's so much that we're going to be able to do on this game once I'm done with this. I promise you that. But that's basically how my mod menu works. So it shouldn't open right now because I'm not on the main screen. But as you can see, now it's open because the chat's open. So that's kind of how I purposefully planned it. And it's a really easy thing to fix. If I wanted to have it open anywhere, I would just have to find a different function to put it in. So I'd probably do something like UE common or uh, UE lock, maybe paint category. I don't know where I would put it, but I'd put it somewhere else. Maybe UE. Oh, this is their message boxes. Uh huh. -huh. Context owner. Who are you? Huh. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a really cool menu. I'll eventually put it up on like GitHub or something like that. Once I modify it a little bit more, make it a little bit prettier for you guys. Add some images and some sprite abilities and yada, yada, yada. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.